A childbirth complication refers to any abnormal obstetrical condition or adverse event occurring during pregnancy, labor, or delivery that can adversely impact mother and or baby. Obstetric complications are ultimately what cause all birth injuries. There are a number of well-known childbirth complications that occur in certain percentages of all pregnancies. Some of these complications are relatively benign, while others can be very dangerous and even life-threatening. In this video, we will identify the top three most dangerous childbirth complications. These are the complications that are the most difficult for doctors to manage and which have the greatest potential to cause catastrophic birth injuries or death. Uterine rupture ranks number one on our list. It is arguably the most dangerous of all obstetric complications for both baby and mother. Uterine rupture is a rare event in which the wall of the mother's uterus literally tears open suddenly and without warning. The reason uterine rupture is so dangerous is that as soon as the rupture occurs, the baby is under immediate threat of oxygen deprivation, which causes major brain damage or death very quickly. The minute the uterus ruptures, the baby's life clock starts ticking. Depending on the severity of the rupture, the baby must be delivered for, via emergency C-section within 10 to 30 minutes to avoid devastating brain injury or death. Number two on our list is shoulder dystocia. Shoulder dystocia occurs when the baby's shoulder becomes stuck behind the mother's pelvic bone during vaginal delivery. If doctors cannot dislodge the shoulder and deliver the baby quickly, oxygen deprivation can occur. What makes shoulder dystocia particularly dangerous for the baby, however, is that it tends to be a double-edged sword. The response to shoulder dystocia is often just as hazardous for the baby as the condition itself. In their rush to free the baby's shoulder, doctors often use too much force and injure the baby. Number three on our list is umbilical cord prolapse. In a normal childbirth, the baby goes through the birth canal first and is followed by the umbilical cord. Prolapse occurs when the vital umbilical cord drops into the cervical opening first and ends up in front of the baby as it enters the birth canal. This is very dangerous because as the baby's head pushes down, it will push and compress the cord against the pelvis or birth canal walls. This pinching or compression of the cord can restrict or even completely cut off the baby's oxygen supply from the mother. The cord gets more and more compressed as the mother's label contractions continue pushing the baby down. One reason umbilical cord prolapse is so dangerous is that it is one of the few events that can completely cut off oxygen to the baby, as opposed to simply restricting or decreasing it. This is why the prenatal mortality rate for cord prolapse can be as high as 50%. For more information about dangerous delivery complications, visit our website at birthinjuryhelpcenter.org.